Hey y'all, this is Krista with Magnolia Ridge Farm and Gardens and I decided to take a little pause in just project videos so I can talk to you about snow prep um, how we are preparing for the ice storm that is supposed to hit North Carolina tomorrow because we are in central southern North Carolina so we are going to be impacted and we're not sure how hard, but um, they are predicting uh, two to three inches of snow mix and up to a half inch of ice, which if you've ever, ever, ever dealt with ice, you know can, is going to cause power outages. And um, with that much ice and considering that uh, to the, our south uh, at the edge of North Carolina and South Carolina, Georgia, that area is, they are expecting over an inch of ice which is just crazy that's like catastrophic ice and you're looking at with that much ice um you know 10 days or more without power a half inch ice could mean up to five days without ice or without power and you know little pockets of places that could go longer now we are fairly close to the city here so we may um, only be a couple days without power if we lose it just because you know we are in an area that has been rapidly growing uh, with housing developments and stuff and right outside the city so we are fairly accessible so it just depends on you know what it is we had a a tree down uh, on our road for over a week and they came out within a few hours and cut it off the line but they left the tree over our road for over a week and it actually just got cleared yesterday so maybe we'll get lucky and all the the trees are down uh, from that windstorm that we had a week or so ago that are going to fall on lines but I don't know so we are preparing to be without power um, I lived in this house actually back in the mid 90s because my father built this house uh, it is actually next door to what was my grandmother's house, and my cousin inherited it from his dad. So that's why I live next to my cousins. So I grew up in this house, and we lost power due to a horrible ice storm back in the mid-90s. I don't remember exactly what year. I just remember I was in high school, so it was like 90, 94, 95 maybe. I know. That, that tells you how old I am. Anyway, we were without power here for three weeks. So, uh, we are anticipating that, and it's, I mean, it's okay. We do have a generator. Uh, we are prepared. We do have fuel. So, and that's to make sure that all of our freezers are okay and everything. But there's other things that we need to do, and I need to get uh, some projects done before we lose. So, today is going to be a crazy day. So, that is why I'm here with no makeup on. My hair's in a bun. I look pretty rough because it is just powering through today. So here, I will try to take a few little clips as I go through the day. I'm not gonna make you watch, you know, hours of what I'm doing, cause that's just, that's horrible. I, I would not do that to anyone. But I will take little clips just to kind of show you what we're doing. And some of the things that I'm gonna be doing is I have been working on this massive turkey project where, because we did kill our last uh, nine turkeys, that we were going to harvest and so I have been uh, cutting them up and putting in them in the freezer making the turkey sausage which I did um, that video for you there and I'm also at the point now that I am making bone broth with the carcasses so I am on my second batch that I need to can which is what I'm fixing to do and then I'm going to put my third batch in the crock pots and I hope to get that done in the morning so before, I don't think it's supposed to get bad until lunch. So if I can get that cans up in the morning, we'll be good. And then I have to get um, bread baked. I need to bake a couple loaves of fresh bread. And I also am going to make a big pot of soup in the morning once I get the canners or the crock pots empty. And then I have to go out to the garden and harvest anything that is left that the cold has not killed. And then <laughs> we've got to clean out the coolers and the refrigerators from where we had the, the turkeys uh, after we processed them. And then I've got to put down fresh bedding out in the chicken coop to account for all the wet that they're going to get 
um, and the mud and move our ducks and turkeys out to the barn to give them better shelter against the storm because they do not have a big coop area. They just have like a little bit of shelter um, and it's kind of leaky. So we're going to move them out to the barn uh, so that they are actually enclosed. So the three turkeys will have a 12 by 12 stall and the six ducks will have a 12 by 12 stall. And um, that way they are fully enclosed with just, you know, ventilation and they will be blocked by the wind and the ice and they will um, not suffer anything. So we have to catch all of them and move them. And then I will probably process up, you know, some of what I harvest, like the turnip greens and stuff. I will try to get those canned and make dinner and make some breakfast options for the next few days in case we don't have power. So there's a lot that I have to get done. And this is, you know, I've actually been preparing for this for a few days. You know, we went and got gas for, you know, made sure all of our gas cans are filled. We fired up the generator, made sure it worked. Um, we uh, went to, we did go to the store and we bought our milk, which, you know, that's, I have to have milk. My son drinks milk like crazy. So I was able to find some milk. It was some of the last that was there. And I was glad to be able to get in and out without needing anything else. So um, we have been preparing, but now it's, it's crunch time. So I have to get all this stuff done. So anyway, come along for the ride, see how we prepare for the snowstorm. And um, I will uh, maybe give y'all an update once we get it so you can see what we're, what we're deal with, dealing with and how we fared. So uh, thanks for joining us and let's get to it.
Hey everybody, so I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek of what it takes to get ready for the snow. I did not get to film catching the ducks and the turkeys, but we did get them out to the barn, which is why I'm all red in the face from chasing them around. Six ducks, three turkeys, carried them out to the barn. We got fresh straw in the coop in the run and in the stalls for the ducks and the turkeys. Everyone is fed and watered. My garden is harvested. Uh, everything's done. Thank goodness. I'm going to get this video edited it up and I will see you guys in another video. Everyone stay safe, stay warm, and we'll see you on the flip side.